back to my channel. So it is Sunday evening. It is absolutely pissing down rain and dark and I just thought I'd come on and do a little things I've been loving kind of favourites video. So first of all I'm going to start with like things that aren't physically here. So I want to start by saying I have been loving a new author called Amy Cross. She writes like horror, thriller, crime kind of books. Now, I am an avid reader. I am on Goodreads and I have set my reading challenge for this year at 50 books and I have read 47. So I'm doing pretty well. I went off reading for a little bit, but I've got right back into it. I love it so much. I struggle a lot to sleep and I struggle a lot to stay asleep. So when I can't sleep, and the rest of the world is sleeping, I tend to be reading. But yes, I read on my Kindle, and I have mentioned before in videos, if you get an app called UK Hot Deals, you can find some great free Kindle books on there. And I have found some by an author called Amy Cross, and I've really, really been enjoying her books to the extent that the one I'm reading just now of hers is called The Skillin Cottage or The Murder at the Skillin Cottage. And I only started it at the early hours of this morning and I'm nearly finished it. And that wasn't me like constantly reading it, like from when I started it. I don't know, they're just so good. I'm really, really enjoying her books. What else have I read that's good? See, I forget the author's names and stuff. I should really just bring my Kindle in. But yeah, if you can find any Amy Cross books or you're looking for somebody new to check out, then check Amazon. Have a wee look at the reviews or what I like to do is read the little description bit just to get a feel for what the book is going to be like. But I have been really loving that. I also watched the film on Netflix called I, Tonya, which was about a true story about um, an ice skater who sabotages another ice skater and it's based on a true story. I don't know much about her, if I'm brutally honest. It actually came up as a recommendation. So with all of the coverage on The Queen at the moment, it's just a bit much. So I watched that. I also watched a Kevin Hart film called Fatherhood where he sadly loses his wife after the birth of his daughter and nobody thinks that he's mature enough to bring up his daughter on his own and he proves them all wrong and it's a very heartwarming little film so I enjoyed that as well. What else did I watch? Did I watch something else? I can't remember off the top of my head. I think that's it. I've been watching Celebrity MasterChef, so I'm just waiting for the final to come round. I think, obviously, that's been halted as well with the passing of the Queen. But I can't wait to see who wins that. It's not something that I ever watch, but I started watching it and then I was like, right, I need to know who wins. That sort of thing. And yeah, that is it for TV programmes and books. The majority of the stuff that I have got here in front of me is makeup. So let's just dive on in and with no particular order, I have been loving this Rare Beauty Liquid Illuminator. It is a liquid illuminator in the shade Transcend. I got it brand new on Depop. I hunted high and low. Space NK is constantly sold out of the Rare Beauty items that I would like to try. For example, I would like to try the Liquid Blusher in the shade Hope. I think the other one was Happy, Joy and Bliss. They are the ones that I would like, but Hope was like my ultimate favourite, but they're always sold out. And then Transcend, this one, and I'm sure is it Mesmerise or Mermaids or something? Always. And then I saw someone selling this at a decent price and I was like, right, that's a sign. So this is absolutely lovely. I've really been enjoying it. And I'm just so happy to finally be able to get the chance to try it. I'm sorry if I look a riot, by the way, but I wasn't going to put makeup on just to show this. I've also been enjoying this, which I was sent by my friend Laura because it didn't work out for her. So she sent it to me just to see if 
I had any luck. It is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30 in the shade Vanilla Number no. 2. And I have found it pretty good. It's a really nice product to use. I think it's got pretty decent coverage. Have a spot. Happy days. Got bitten by something. Happy days. So, yeah. But I've been enjoying that. So, thanking you. I got this little Too Faced sample. This is a, the Hangover X Replenishing Face Primer with coconut water, probiotic based ingredient and skin revivers, silicon free. I can't remember what I got this with. Oh, I think it was with my Too Faced Born This Week Concealer. No, I don't know if it was, but anyway. And I love this. It's so lovely. I love the smell of it. I love the feel of it. I really want the full size of it. Like, I literally would get the full size of this. I really love that. Oops. Throwing everything away. I also love this. I'm sure this was sent to me by Becca, who does the Facebook group I'm in. I'm sure it was, but I might be wrong. This is the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturiser. Kombacha Glow Moisturiser and I use it as a primer and it is really really lovely and it makes your skin look amazing and it's got a slight scent to it, it's not too overpowering but it is super super lovely hold on a minute, I forgot something that I've just got to add in so oh, and this <laughs> right another thing that is amazing is this She Glam Hold on, this ring light's washing me out. I've got the big main light on. So this is the She Glam, which is Shein's range. And this is the birthday skin primer. Oh my God, this stuff's amazing. And it is a big hefty tub and you get it for what? Five pound, if that. And it comes with a little lid and it does have a scoop with it. And as you can see, well, hopefully you can see. Can you see? Yeah, I have used a load of it. It is stunning on your skin. It is so, so nice. It literally makes your skin look so smooth, the perfect canvas for putting your makeup on. So I highly recommend it. I really do. And Carly Bible loves it as well, if you know her, one of the bigger YouTubers. Two items here that I'm going to mention, and I'm not just like saying it for the sake of it. I honestly think if you haven't tried these items and you can afford to splurge on them or treat yourself or add them to your Christmas or birthday list or what have you, go for it. Or even wait until the Black Friday sales and hope that they're on it. This little bad boy. This does cost £29, but oh my God, is it worth it? To me, yes, it is. This is the Glow Wish by Huda Beauty. It is the Luminous Press Powder and I have it in the shade 03 Light. And I absolutely love this. It makes your skin look so, so airbrushed and smooth. And it smooths out all those pores under the eyes when you're setting it. It's not cakey and heavy and giving you that really powdery, like sitting on top of your skin. And I would go as far as to say this is so much better than the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. Definitely worth checking out. And another thing is the new, the newest Huda Beauty Concealer. This is amazing. I think this retails for £24. This is the Full Filter Concealer. I have it in the shade, excuse me, Coconut Flakes. And it is a luminous matte concealer. Now, you don't need a lot of it. And oh my God, I honestly think... This is the best thing I've put under my eyes. Apart from the Bobbi Brown colour correctors, when it comes to a concealer, I'm always like, meh, it's okay. There's n Out of even all the concealers that I have, I still think this is fantastic. I'm so glad I got it. Again, I bought this brand new on Depop, but what the girl does is, I'm sure it was £24 when I looked on ASOS after I got it, I got it for £20 free shipping. So it's still, you know, like a lot of people will be like, you still paid 20 quid for it. 
But what she does is she goes, you send the money to her for the item. She goes on to ASOS and buys it for you. And she's paying the full price for it and she's giving you it. And I, I would pay the full price for it. I'd pay that extra £4 and I love it. It's really good. So another one I think you should try out. If you haven't tried the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, these are brilliant. They're also a great dupe for the Fenty Glosses. And this one is in the shade 007 Amber. It also has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's going to be really nourishing on your lips. And they are just absolutely stunning. And they're about £8, so they're a lot cheaper than the Fenty ones. So if you can't afford the Fenty ones, you should definitely give these a go. God, I got really dizzy there. Okay, next up is a pigment. I don't use pigments a lot. Now, I'm going to mention it again. When my original Gingerbread Girl channel was going smoothly until the lovely Google account has locked me out and for whatever reason doesn't want to let me back in, I was doing a series using my Peaches and Cream pigments. And this one here, oh my God, is Gatsby and you need it in your life. It is this gold, absolutely gorgeous pigment. It is divine. This one and the one called Peached, you have to try. If you're going to get any peaches and cream pigments, they are the two that I highly recommend. They are absolutely glorious. Next up, is some more She Glam. I love She Glam and I believe they've just brought out highlighters in this packaging so I can't wait to try them at some point. But this is the Colour Bloom Liquid Blush in the shade Float On. It is gorgeous. I love the packaging. I love the component. Oh, it smells divine. It is so nice and it is the most beautiful colour. Absolutely gorgeous. You can also get, a, they call it their wardrobe that has got every single shade of the blusher. I think it's about £29. But they're absolutely amazing. So good value for money. Really, really gorgeous. You don't need loads and you can build it up. So I highly recommend those as well. Keeping on with She Glam, this is the Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour and I have it in the shade Golden Sun. And at first I was using, well I could, for me I could use this as a liquid bronzer or a contour but it does work well for my skin tone as a contour and then putting the bronzer over. This smells like a chocolate mousse. Oh my god almighty. I just want to eat it. And if you can see there, it's got the wee holes at the bottom. I mean, this sponge goes in, it obviously works its way and absorbs into there. Just love it. Really, really fabulous. I have also been loving this liquid liner. Now, I am absolutely shite at liquid liner. Like, freehand in it. Just crap. My eye blinks like buggery. I've got eyelashes missing here. As you can just see there from when I had chicken pox when I was younger. It just goes all to pop. So I tend to put a bit of tape at the sides to try and get a bit more precision. But these Sephora liners are brilliant. Now, obviously we don't have Sephora over here. I'm very, very lucky and very appreciative, really struggle to say that word, of my beautiful friend Laura that stays in America because she kindly picked up the black one for me because I first discovered this when another YouTuber, is this it here? That's the next one. I can't find it. Oh, I kind of find it, but I've got like a tealy coloured one that uh, the Bruce Lee Honest Beauty sent me and it's fantastic. And Laura kindly picked me up the black one. It'd be great to have a brown one as well. They are so good to use. They're so easy to use. So we'll be loving that. Store them down, um, upside down. So much better. She also kindly, Laura, sent me this Flower Beauty blusher. One, because she knows I'm blusher obsessed and two, because she knows that you can get a couple of Flower Beauty items, which is Drew Barrymore's brand in Superdrug, but you don't get much of it. And she sent me this blusher and it is in the shade, if I can find that, Peach Primrose. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It's so stunning and it's got this gorgeous flowery pattern. It's almost similar, the pattern, to the um, UE Cosmetics ones, but it's really lovely. 
So I've been enjoying that recently. And another She Glam must have is the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. Again, this went viral on TikTok. So you've got your loose powder at the bottom here and then you've got your pressed powder at the top. And again, I believe this is five pounds or under. Absolutely fantastic. The only thing I hate is that even though it's got a sifter here and it's closed, a shit ton of product is sat on the top. So be aware of that because it goes everywhere. And then you will have seen my video, hopefully, if not, go and check it out after this, where I did a video on my Kiko haul. So I got a few bits from Kiko and I picked up one of their eyeshadows. This is their long lasting wet and dry use eyeshadow. And this one is in the shade 209. They're a bugger to get open. And it is this absolutely stunning olive green. And I got a lot of compliments on the look that I did. I don't know if I filmed the look, but I definitely, I'm sure I put it on my Instagram, which is at makeuplover44. Julie, what is that? It? Makeup, makeup. Oh, I'll put it down in the description. See, this is what I mean. See, with constantly getting locked out of things, it's just a ball ache. But anyway, this is gorgeous. And I also have a teal coloured one, which I haven't tried yet. And then I've really fallen in love with these two products. This one here is the Radiant Touch Bronzing Powder in the shade 101. It is ab. Absolutely brilliant. Can you hear that rain? Bouncing down. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Love it. So good. So happy I got it. And this highlighter. Oh my god. Again. I've used I think I've used it in videos that are coming up. That you'll probably see before. See because I pre-recorded as well. This is going into October now, these recordings, I think. Possibly even November now. But yeah, anyhow. Mm. See, it's the same packaging. This is the Ultimate Glow Highlighter in number three. Oh my God. It is absolutely stunning. And I definitely have posted this on my Facebook and a lot of people message going, what is that highlighter you've got on? And I'm like, it's by Kiko. And they're like, is it a powder? Is it a... What is it? Because it just looks amazing and it actually does look amazing. So again, if you haven't tried Kiko, check them out. I picked up the stuff when they happen to have a 70% sale, so it's worth looking to see then. And then the last couple of things is some palettes. Again, I love getting stuff from Depop and I love getting, I don't mind getting stuff from eBay and it's always brand new stuff I get. There's a couple of things from Depop that I've got that is very lightly used or has only been swatched that doesn't bother me and another site that I have found and been getting some things from of recent is Beauty Boxes by Tammy. So these two, this item and one other item I'm going to show you I got from there. So this is the Juvia's Place the Topes palette. It is absolutely gorgeous, pretty boring to some people, not normally something that I would choose myself but I don't know why these colours were just screaming to me and I just loved it so much. Again, a lot of the looks I haven't done since I've had to create this new channel, but they're all still over on the other channel, the original gingerbread, if you want to go there and check it out. And I will get round to using them on here. And again, I post all my looks on my Instagram. I'm sure it is Makeup Lover 44 or Makeup with Julie 44. It's one of the two, but I'll, I'll put it in the description. It's my heads up Mars. But yeah, so this palette, I love it. And then sticking with guessing palettes from Beauty Box with Tammy, I got this gorgeous creature. Oh, look at this. Ah. See, when my boyfriend heard this, he was like, oh, your shadows are all broken. I was like, don't say that. Because I didn't even notice this. It was what was inside I noticed. Basically, this is the Michaela and Glam Lights second collab palette. Glam Lights is an American brand. Michaela is on TikTok. I'm sure you all know more about her than I do. I know who she is to see, but I've never really watched her. And I've heard a lot of people going about her. I've seen the first launch that she did with them. And 
you know, they do a lot of quirky and really out there, um, like pizza boxes and burger boxes, like really chunky, bulky palettes. But it kind of puts me off buying from America and different brands if I've never got from them before because I never know if I'm going to get custom charges. Like Colourpop, I know I'm not going to get custom charges. Lethal Cosmetics, even though they're in Berlin, I never got any custom charges, so I'm comfortable to buy from them. But when I saw that Beauty Boxes by Tammy had this on her site, I was like, oh, this is perfect. So this is an early... I thought it was going to be put by for my birthday or my Christmas because my birthday is two weeks before Christmas. But himself said, just have it just now. So it's an early birthday Christmas stroke our anniversary, which was an August present. So oh, this is what she looks like and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I do have a swatch video on this channel that you can go and check out. And I also have a look on it that went up yesterday and I will be doing way more looks and can we just appreciate how absolutely bloody stunning this palette is. It's gorgeous and I love it. And then the last thing I got brand new from Depop and this is the Huda Naughty palette because I hummed and hawed about getting these. These retail at 50 something odd quid. I did pay full price when I was working for the Mercury Retrograde palette and it is one of my all time favourite palettes. I have used it so much. I also did my friend's makeup in June there using it. That was out of all the palettes I own, that was the one she picked. So this is it and it is absolutely stunning and I love it. And yes, it was brand new. I've swatched it, I've used it. I couldn't help but dig into this one because this is the one with the weird little beads. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. All I need now is the Huda Rose Quartz one. And then I'll have all three of those. And um, Makeup with Alex Kate. She was saying that normally Huda brings out these size palettes around about November time. So we'll have to see what she comes up with. So that is the things that I've been enjoying. I can't off the top of my head think of anything else at the minute. But yeah, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you've seen in the video that you've tried or you is one of your favourites. And yeah, don't forget to hit that bell button so that you're notified of when I upload. Don't forget to like it because then it shows YouTube that I'm doing something right. And it also makes me feel better about myself when I'm sat here looking like crap and forget what I'm saying and also please do subscribe we are at 52 subscribers so we're just over that halfway mark to get into 100 as I say it's still really disheartening the fact that I've got 1600 nodes on the original gingerbread channel and I cannot damn well get in there <sighs> but yeah we move on as they say and yes I will see you next time I'm away to get into my bed and watch some YouTube while listening to that pouring rain. Bye.